this opportunity for him to come forward and enlighten us of this wonderful brother that we have to celebrate this glorious day. You know, brother, I, I'm going to break the leader's rule. We're glad to have you, brother. I'm not supposed to go beyond that. <laughs> but we're great to have you. And at this particular time, we're going to present to you our beloved brother, Brown, and his lovely wife and family. May God get you escape. We're all having a marvelous Well, let me rephrase that. Most of us are having a marvelous time. <laughs> well. And uh, most of us are glad to be here on this wonderful occasion. And certainly, I'm sure that you also appreciate the verbal accolades mm -hmm. that you share with me. It serves as a source of encouragement. If you have the idea that perhaps I'm not so sure that uh, we need to keep this fellow, I know what he'll say, but I think maybe we should get rid of him. <laughs> <laughs> well now, I can tell you how to do that. I can tell you how to do that. Just keep doing the kind of things you're doing today. Keep doing the kind of things you're doing today. Saying nice things, being nice and encouraging. And what will happen is, he'll work his force out today. <laughs> <laughs> On your behalf. And you'll be with him. That's how simple it is. But we're glad that you have taken time out to manifest this kind of love to God's evangelists. And of course, we just wish that we could always do this, but of course we can't always do that, do this. But this bespeaks your actions today, bespeaks your observation. You have been watching the Wilson. You have been watching him closely. He has been under the microscope for five years. You have been coming for a number of reasons. Number one, because you're a child of God and you do that. Worship is what you're supposed to do. And being ready to every good work is what you're supposed to do. But at the same time, you've been watching this young fellow to see just how he was going to progress as a minister of the gospel and as the minister of this church. Now, now, now that he has passed muster, you're ready to join hands. Is that right? You're ready to join hand and march into the future with him, following the leadership that he provides for God's people. Brother Wilson, I don't know if you knew that, but I'm sure you probably have some idea that the church has been watching you, they've been driving your every move, your every decision, and not just your sermons. And uh, as you would have it, even though you hired Brother Wilson to preach here, They've been watching Sister Kathy's every move. No, she's not the preacher, but they've been watching Sister Kathy. So, by virtue of what we are observing today, you pass muster. And to pass muster with Church of Christ members, I want to, I want to leave you with these words. And uh, hopefully and prayerfully they will serve to encourage you. Paul in writing to Timothy, and, and, and it will also encourage God's people. You're thinking big. You're think, let me rephrase that. I think you're thinking big. The very fact that you decided to have this. You see, there's a part on, there's another part coming up later called presentation. Isn't there a presentation? I, I haven't seen or heard what the presentation is. That's why I say, I think you're thinking big. I have faith that you're thinking big. But you see, faith is the substance of things hoped for. The evidence of things not seen. I, I, I'm hoping and praying and I have faith that you are thinking and acting big today. Now please, don't betray my faith. It's alright, Paul is writing to the young man of Timothy. 
In 2 Timothy chapter 3, am I going to preach? Just want to say a few words. In 2 Timothy chapter 3, Paul shared with Timothy about how it's going to be in the last days. And he says there's going to be some all kinds of things going on and all kinds of people acting very, very contrary. And one of those, one of the many he says is without natural affection. Truth breaks. All acute, incompetent, that having no self-control. He says you're going to have all, and despises of those that are good. Those that are good, despises. Do you have any folk like that? You try to do the right thing, and they criticize you, and trying to do the right thing. You're going to have those kind of people. And now he was talking about these days that we live in. I hope you know that. Then he says, verse 10. But thou hast fully known my doctrine, my manner of life, my purpose, my faith, my long-suffering, charity, and patience. You've known about the persecutions and afflictions. He says, yea, in verse 1, all that will live godly in Christ Jesus shall what? You're going to do some suffering. Now, Christians, black lands, you're going to get some flack for what you're doing today. You understand that? Mm. You're going to get some flack mm. for what you're doing today. That's right. And uh, you're going, uh, there may be a call already on your action machine. <laughs> Child, when you get home, I want you to call me and tell me what y'all did for you. <laughs> There's going to be some, oh, some yeah. feedback on this. Yes, you understand sir. that? Yes, sir. But what I want to encourage you to do is keep Martin Doggerty on. Amen. You see, you don't want to put any toxic, anything that's toxic in your body. Right. It doesn't help the body to grow. Right. So you have, many times, you, 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 you've got some poisons into your system without realizing it. It's necessary for you to detox. Right. Mm -hmm. yeah, are you all following me? Yeah. Sometimes, listen, it's not just food that can be toxic. Uh -huh. It's not just air that can be toxic. Right. 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 There, there can also be some toxic church members. Right. Right. You may, you may need to do some detoxing after this. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> Paul says, you've known my life. Yea, and all that will have gotten it in Christ Jesus shall suffer persecution. You're going to do some suffering. He says, son, but I want to tell you something. No matter what happens in life, no matter what you have to endure, no matter how you may be mistreated, he says, this is what I want you to do. Now, Paul is guided by the Holy Spirit. We can take this advice for ourselves. He says, but continue. But continue. That's what's in verse 13. 14. Verse 14. No matter what happens, just continue. You're doing the right thing. You're on the wrong, right road. You're living for the Lord. You're going to get some flack. You're going to get some criticism. Paul says, but continue. Now, I'm going to say the rest of it, but, but just remember, but continue. You all got this. Okay, thank you. Move on. You see, there's some things you don't talk to. You don't discuss with certain folks. You know, there's some, there's some folk you don't discuss spiritual matters. Yes. You ask them about Tiger Woods, and you ask them about uh, the, the weather, and, 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 and who's on strike and who's not on strike. You know, there's some folk you just can't discuss the word of government. Right. Because it's like, like pouring water on a duck's back. Uh. You remember Jesus talked about shaking the dust yep. off your feet, yes, when folk don't want to listen? Some folk you don't want to spend any time with. Right. Some folk, you know, you know, some folk who get sick and be sick all the time, or I think they are, you, you, you fool around and make a mistake. I said, how are you feeling today? And then they go on and tell you, oh, Lord, have mercy. Lord, I said, Excuse me, I didn't mean to say that. I meant to say hello. Paul says, but continue in the things which thou hast learned and hast been assured of, knowing of whom thou hast learned this. And he talks, and he goes on to talk about the scriptures. You know the scriptures. I don't care what. Folks say, it doesn't matter who calls, even if they have doctor in front of their name. Ah. You know the scriptures. Right. You know what's right. right. Just continue. And I want to say to Brother Nate, I'm just a so Catholic. Just continue. Yes, what you have been taught. Right. God bless.